Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be hopefully finishing off this corporate design. Uh, we're going to start off with this left content area and then move on to the footer and then that should conclude this whole series. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get started. You can go ahead and jump over to your index.html page and right underneath this Twitter box we're going to create a new div and that div is going to have an ID of content. And now this content is just going to be for the left row, so we could name it left content or whatever you like. So for this, I'm just going to leave it as content. And then I'm going to make another div, div with the class of row. And then inside of this row, I'm going to leave a spot for our icon image. And then below that, I'm going to make a P for paragraph, not in my pants. And then I'm going to close off the P. And then I'm just going to copy and paste some paragraph text into there. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Looking good. All right, so now that we have that, we can just delete that line and then going to close off this row. and then close off this row and I just found out that by my shortcut of command alt period for closing off div tags um, pauses my recording that's good to know alrighty so I'm going to add a comment here for row ends and then here I'm going to write content ends all right, so in this, I'm going to uh, copy and paste this four more times. So there's five rows all together. Uh, yes, five rows. So one, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five all together. And then in this first row, I'm going to go down to images and look for the target icon. Throw that right there. And now the camera icon. I'm going to throw that right there. And then the case icon the barrier and then finally the couch alright you can save that and we will we'll refresh this and as you can see that's looking horrible but don't worry we're going to fix that at all with styling so over here underneath content wrapper I'm going to make a div for content and for content uh, we want to put a specified width and tell it to flow to the left. So let's go width of 600 pixels, flow to the left. And then we want to give it a font color of 3A, 3A, 3A. Make sure you put that hashtag. And then I'm going to give it some margin top. So margin 10 pixels on the top, 0, 0, 0. And now we already have some margin on the top for the entire div wrapping both of these this content and this Twitter box it's 10 pixels from the top that's what's giving this space but I want the text to have 10 more pixels down it just looks a little bit cleaner and the text doesn't look like it's hugging the top so badly so we're going to save that and then we're going to work on row so we have a class of row and then for row we have a height of 35 pixels and I got that from our icons, they are 35 pixels high. So for height of 35 pixels, and then we're going to have margin, 0 on the top, 0 on the right, and 30 pixels on the bottom, and 0 on the left. The reason for the 30 pixels is so it spaces the rows from each other. So this row isn't touching this row like it is at the moment. And then finally, I'm going to go row, and then IMG and that's going to be let's space this out and then I will explain uh, the IMG normally probably probably would want to give this image a, uh, a class of like icon or something and then target uh, the image uh, with that class name but because I'm not going to have any more images except for this icon within this row div I'm just targeting all images within that just by going IMG 
So if you have a couple of images in there and you don't want them all to have this property, then give uh, each one a specific class. So for this, I'm going to tell it to float to the left so the text wraps around it. And then I'm going to give it some margin so the text isn't so close to it to help with readability. So I'm going to go margin 0 on the top, 20 pixels on the right side, 0 and 0. Save that. Let's refresh this. And it's looking pretty good, but it's not seeing the font size for some reason. Okay, it turns out that I forgot uh, to add the property of font size and change the font size to 13 pixels. I thought I added that, but I had forgotten. Uh, one other thing that I forgot, I'm doing really good today, is adding a closing div right here. And that is going to be for content wrapper. So I'm going to copy this. And then right here, I'm going to write content wrapper. Save that. And if we refresh this, you can see it's looking great. Now, one thing, this Twitter feed, it's a little bit too tall for this content. If you look at our, our original design, the Twitter feed pretty much lines up with the bottom of the content. So to fix that, all that we have to do is come over to here and change this RPP to 2. Save it. Um, come over to here, refresh, and there you go. That looks much better. Uh, you can leave it to three if you like. Uh, I'm going to keep it like this. So now, now that we have that, we can go ahead and jump to the footer. So to start off, we want to come underneath this content wrapper, and we're going to make a div with the ID of footer BG, and we're going to do that because uh, this footer has. Let me see if I can find this. The footer has this blue line. I want this to stretch just like we did with the gray and the blue up this up there. So we're going to do a footer BG, and all that's going to have is some margin padding and top border. And then inside of that, we're going to have a div with the ID of footer. And then inside of here, let me give you some space so you can see what I'm doing. Inside of here, we're going to scroll to the top and steal this UL for our navigation. We're going to copy that, scroll way down, and just paste it inside of here. And we're going to remove this logo class, uh, this ID for navigation. I don't need that. And we can just erase that. Okay, so when you have that, we're going to add one more line. We're going to add right here small because it's going to be the copyright text. So in small tags, we're going to write um, copyright. And then we can't just put the copyright sign. We need to do a code for it, and that's the and sign, copy, and then semicolon. And then we're just going to write 2010 pixel for life.com. And then let's close off some div tags, slash div. And then this is going to be footer ends, and then another one. And this one's going to be for the footer BG ends. Okay. So let me uh, refresh this and you can see what we did so far. Probably don't have to, you can most likely imagine it. But as you can see, it's not spaced too nicely. <laughs> it looks a little weird, but don't worry about it, we will be fixing that. All right, it looks like we're having some problems at the moment. Our content doesn't seem to be working, but we'll worry about that later. Um, let's erase this. On content wrapper, erase that and change this to margin top refresh and that fixed it. Alright, so I was stupid and I put margin twice. Alright, let's get back to the footer. Down here we are going to uh, start styling the footer. So we're going to start off with footer BG and for this we're going to do border top and it's going to have five pixels which is that light blue thing solid and then this blue color is going to be C B D E A um, C, B, D, B, A. There we go. And then a width of 100%, so it spans the entire browser. <clears throat> then we're going to write clear both, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't sit up here. It's going to sit below everything. So clear both will we'll remove the floats. <clears throat> then we're going to give it some margin of 30 pixels on the top, 
0 for the right, 15 pixels for the bottom, and 0 for the left. Alright, so then we also want to give it some padding. And for padding, we're going to go 15 pixels on top, 0 on the right, 0 on the bottom, 0 on the left. Save that. And we'll just quickly refresh it <clears throat> so you can see what we did. So we got this blue line that spans across the entire width. Alright, good. So now, now that we have that, we can come over to here to footer. And for that, we're going to do width of 930 pixels, which is the same width as everything else. And a margin zero auto, so it centers. A lot of the same basic stuff as we've been doing already. So color of 3B3B. And then font size of 13 pixels. And then text align, we're going to have it center. Make sure you close this all off. All right. So now we want the, because we want all the text to center within that, uh, the footer div. So when you have that, we want to stylize the anchor tags inside of the footer, so footer A. And then for that, we're just going to do uh, color of 3B, 3B. I keep forgetting that hashtag. And then we want to do text decoration of done. So it removes the underline. So then we also want to do footer small to stylize that small uh, copyright text and all we're going to do is change the font size to 11 pixels. Now, now that's out of the way, we're going to stylize the UL, which is that small navigation bar. So we're going to go footer UL and we'll do margin zero auto, so it centers. Margin bottom is going to be 15 pixels. Let's give this some room. And then we're going to do footer UL li, which is going to be our list items for this UL. And we're going to do list style of none to remove bullet points. Align to the center. Text align. And then we want to display inline. Now when we did the top navigation bar, instead of display inline, we did float left. But I want these all to be centered, so I do display inline instead of an actual float. And then we're going to give it some margin, 0 on the top, 15 pixels to the right, 0, 0. And now let's do the anchor items for this. We're going to do footer UL LIA. And then for the anchor items, all we want is a color of 3B, 3B. And then we want text decoration of none. And then, <clears throat> this is a little bit of extra stuff I want to do, is footer, and this is something new, li, last child. So this targets the last li in the list. And for this, we want margin zero. And this will remove the margin right that we have on here, so it doesn't have any extra margin to the side. And then, we just want to do some footer, ul, li, a, hover. And for that, we're just going to add back the text decoration decoration of underline. Save that and if we refresh this it should look perfect and it does. Looks great. And that's going to finish off this tutorial. Be sure to check out pixelforlife.com for the PSD and all the website files from this lesson. And please remember to rate and to subscribe and if you feel like leaving a comment go ahead and do so. It's always helpful. I'd like to thank you for watching and see you next time.